peeps, how we doing? I know it's been a while, yes it has. Uh, we are in our new house and um, as you may have figured out, we actually moved from New England to North Carolina. So we are in the Charlotte area. We are actually like five minutes from South Carolina, it's great. Um, we made the jump for many reasons. Um, the reasons we've been telling people is financial and better climate. Um, however, it's definitely a lot more than that. Um, I don't really want to get into it too much in this video, but um, I get SADS really bad. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. It's seasonal affected... <laughs> seasonal affected depressive dis... can't remember what the acronym means. Um, so what happens is when it's not uh, nice and sunny out, like in the spring and summer and sometimes in the fall, um, I get really depressed and um, I do take medication for a lot of it, um, however it kind of just really wore on me. I've been there since I was about 12 years old and um, I just had enough of it and it wasn't just the depression wearing on me, um, there were some other things going on as well um, with my anxiety and all that so I just said you know what life is short and there's no reason for us to not go down there and the worst that can happen is we move back up so but I haven't really told a lot of people that um you know my coach knows my family knows obviously but I don't go around just telling people that um not for any reason but I mean you don't want to just like bring people down so that's kind of why I just give them the short and sweet version of it anyways so uh, very excited about all of that and um, if you have any questions about you know what our experience has been so far um, I will tell you that there, there has already been two people who did not understand my accent apparently I have some type of New England accent I don't know um, <laughs> so that that's been interesting and um, yeah so we are gonna get right into this video so we actually have two things for you today. So we have the unboxing for our Margo Elena subscription box, which to be truthful with you, I don't know if it's winter or spring. I'm not sure. I will tell you, I weighed it. It is four and a half pounds, which is woo, hefty. When I got it and I held it in my hands, I was like, this is heavy. So we've got that for you. And then we also have another Etsy purchase actually. So there was a fragrance from Maison Margiela, which I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, Mason Margiela. It was called Lipstick On. And literally this perfume, when I put it on, it I can't even explain it to you. It, if you ever have a perfume that kind of like brings back a memory, you know, like sometimes certain things you'll smell will remind you, you know, of when you were a little kid or, or what have you. Well, this fragrance, it reminded me of like, I know it's going to sound really weird, but when I was growing up, my, my mom and my grandmother, may have been my mom, would, they had like this old vanity where they had like all their makeup and everything. And I remember it having this like, almost like a mahogany smell. And that's what this lipstick smells like. It has a bunch of other smells in it as well, but that's the thing that captured me because it really brought those memories back. So every time I wore it, I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. Like it just made me feel really good. Unfortunately, they discontinued it. What else is new? So what happened is I actually reached out to a small perfumer <laughs> on Etsy who um, remakes old fragrances or fragrances that you request um, so that you can still get those fragrances but it's obviously not by the name brand and I'll tell you when I got the package today I haven't opened it yet but I could already smell it and it smells like lipstick on and I was just like oh my god yes this is so awesome so um, you know what since I have that in my hand let's just go with let's just start with this one first like I said, I haven't opened it. I think there was an order minimum for them, so I believe I got another, <coughs> excuse me, item in here. What was interesting though is that I could smell, I could smell the perfume. So I don't know if that's because it's so strong or whatever. 
All right, so we got some tissue paper, which I will, of course, reuse because I always do. And yes, something did leak in here, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so this, this is definitely, oh uh, yeah. All right, so the perfumer is called Scentville. S-C-E-N-T-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Really good size bottle. Um, I think this is well over an ounce. And whoa, it did leak a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, so right away there's like a weird plasticky smell, but that could be the, um, I really hope it's this, excuse me, because the inside is plastic, so. Ooh. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't think I would use this packaging again, honey. Because this is literally the, the um, perfume actually ate away at some of the plastic on the inside and it's giving off like a plasticky smell. Which isn't great because then your consumer may think that it has plastic in it. Okay. That aside, let's go ahead and put some on. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. I really hope this smells like it because I was literally so obsessed. <sighs> mm. I hate to be that person, but it's not it. It's not it. It doesn't smell bad. It does not smell bad, but that is not lipstick on. Mmm, honey. Yeah, it's not lipstick on, babe. Oh boy. Yeah, so I was trying to avoid buying a retired bottle from like someone on Mercari or what, what have you because people are selling the full size bottles that are like half empty or what have you for like literally two, three hundred dollars. And I was going to buy one because I don't care, I love it, and um, that's just, yeah, so it looks like I may have to do that. This was about, I want to say $50 for the whole order, so I got that. And then there's something else in here, which, you know what, I bet I'll be more excited about this. How sad is that? So this is um, an, also an eau de parfum. So this is next... It's called Scentville Next Level Perfumery, and of course I don't... Okay, there's my phone. So this is the other product that I got. Nice big bottle. Let's get our phone. You know what? It doesn't smell bad, though. It doesn't smell bad. I'll give you that. It does not smell bad. It just doesn't have that, like, leathery... I don't know, there's just something about lipstick on. Okay, so let's let's see. Yeah. Come on, baby. Open up for my honey. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so we got the lipstick on, and then we got the good girl gone bad Killian type fragrance, which I haven't been able to try, so I was kind of hoping that, you know, I would be able to try it without spending eight million dollars. I'm just going to spray it on myself. Ooh, that's strong. Meaning it's got a good spray on it. As suspected, of course, I like this one more. Even though it's a friggin... It does say Eau de Parfum. So, the reason I like this one more is because it has patchouli in it. And I'm obsessed with patchouli because it smells fabulous. Alright, anyways... There we are, Scentville. So you know what? Try it. Because maybe my nose is different than yours. And it does have a really nice, like, vanilla undertone to it, which is really nice. However, if you've ever had lipstick on and you want that identical twin, you might not get it. Um, but hey, maybe you'll find something new that you like, which is what just happened to me. And I always like to promote little businesses because I'm a small business and I get it. All right, let's get into the big box. So let's get into the Margot Elena box. Okay, I didn't want to put makeup on because I'm lazy and I just didn't feel like doing it, but I put on some concealer and blusher just so I don't look terrifyingly dead. 
but um, let's get into the box. So we've got the Margot Elena box. I have no idea. Okay, it is winter 2022. It says it right on here. Alicia, there's a sticker right there. It says it right on it. Just open your eyes. Okay. Let's see what kind of luxurious, wonderful gifts for ourselves we shall find in the hall. And I always love the sticker that they seal the box with because it says she has arrived on it and I'm like, yeah, yeah, she has. <laughs> She's here, right here. Just kidding, okay. Don't be a creep, Alicia, no one likes it. All right, winter 2022, light and wonder. I will not be opening the pamphlet as I have stated in my other unboxing videos because I like to be surprised. I don't want to know <laughs> ahead of time what is in the box. Okay, little sticker says the weight is over, wrapped in tissue paper. I just love how they package their boxes. They do such a nice job. Everything's always packed really well. I've never had anything leak or anything like that. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I like tangible things. Of course I love body products. I love candles. Candles are life. I love their perfumes because their perfumes are awesome. Their hand cream is fantastic. However, besides cards, I haven't really got, oh, and I got a little travel tag thingy for your luggage, but I mean, I don't use those things, do you? Um, little bag, woohoo! Oh my gosh, it's so cute, so cute. Okay, this is adorable. So it's a little bag, which I absolutely adore. It says Beauty Within, and then my favorite part about it is it is all really nice stitching in here. So you've got the different texture of this fabric here, but then you've got, I don't know if they just did the embroidery or if they put additional fabric, but it looks really cool. And I love, 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 love that pink. There are, of course, handles. And inside is another little pocket, which is always great because you can just throw your key phone, whatever, what have you. And there is also, let's see, from me to you, excellent, a gift tag on it. So if you need to do some shopping or gifting for the holidays and you don't know what to give people, it's already ready for you. Here you go. Very cute, okay. Awesome, oh my gosh, I love getting their boxes. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. Look at that, look how many, are you kidding? All right, cross your fingers for a candle. I love candles. Okay, I am fearless, of course. I'm gonna grab this first. This is a hand cream, yes, I love their hand cream, love it. I'm almost done with the white one that we got, I think like two or three boxes ago. And I have another one that I have not opened yet. So pretty excited because their stuff is freaking awesome. Um, and this is called Infinite She Fearless Wild Geranium and Rosewood Confidence and Strength. Okay, very, very, very cute. And the best part about this is you can easily gift this. And actually, this matches with the bag. So this would be a super cute gift to give to someone. You can just go ahead and grab your bag and your hand cream, which matches, and throw it in there and put it in a little bag and you're done. In fact, you can just use the tissue paper from here and put it in the bag and then you're done. You don't even have to do anything. Thank you. Thank you for making this easy for me. All right, next item. <gasps> they really gave us a hookup. This is cute. So I don't know about you guys, but I totally like to recycle things and reuse things, especially like cute little tin containers that you can put gifts, um, not gifts, but your makeup and your all your cool stuff and you can organize it and put it in your vanity. Isn't that so cute? Don't you like that I'm obsessed with the packaging and haven't even opened it to see what's inside yet? I think it's soap. Okay, so this is called Ooh, Pure Decadence Salt Soak Champagne Citrus Zest, number 32. Let me open it up, hopefully it's... Mmm. You know what's interesting? It kind of smells... It smells really good, but it's kind of like, um... Uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's almost like a food. Like, it's obviously not food, okay? Don't eat this. 
really really cute i absolutely love this tin i'm obsessed i can't wait to use it or give it as a gift because once again very nicely packaged like you could literally just put it in a little gifty bag with some tissue done all right next item <clears throat> Crush your fingers for a candle it's a candle it's a candle i know it's a candle oh <gasps> no but it's a huge bottle of perfume are you kidding like huge like hi okay come on come on now sweet hat just open up for me okay honey Ooh. okay this one's called classic petal by lolia and it is in love eau de parfum okay we'll have to look at the little pamphlet to see Ooh, really cute packaging so really really cute packaging that's the top of the bottle and then the sides nice and big just the way we like it this is 3.4 ounces let's give it a little snifferoo you know because we didn't already bathe in perfume so let's just I'm gonna spray on this. Yeah, just making sure it doesn't have another scent on it. Oh, me! So beautiful, the paper. Mmm. Ooh, that's really nice. I can totally tell why they picked this one for winter. I will look at the card. I just don't want to look at it now, you guys, because I don't want to accidentally see other things because you know that's what's going to happen. We will check it after to see what the notes are, okay? Next item. It's a candle. You know how I know? Because it's a candle! Yes! Okay, let's open it up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have... It's not in here, but the other candle is half gone and it's upstairs, and I'm so sad. Tokyo Milk Dark, oh, yes. oh, Eclipse, oh my gosh, this is literally adorable. Like, how can you not love their packaging? It's just so freaking cute, are you kidding? Like, so cute. Tokyo Eclipse, it says, a new moon passes in front of the sun, shadowed in mystery, rich black anise, Ooh. mingles with sultry smoked amber, creating a surreal fusion unlike any other. Lingering notes of exotic gardenia illuminate aromatic mint leaf. Punctu- Oh god. Shut up! Punctuating this fragrant rarity with a hint of uplifting freshness and irresistible phenomena for the senses. Okay, honestly? Yes. And you know what? I don't really smell the anise. I mean, I do, but it's not the annoying kind of anise that we don't like, which maybe some people do. I've never smelled it in a perfume or candle, so this actually smells really good. This is very masculine. I don't like gendering things, but this is more of a masculine woodsy, which I personally prefer. I prefer over the florals and all that good stuff. Another gift. So far, we've gotten everything that we have received literally could be used as a gift and it would be a super nice gift you know like so easy you just pack it up put it in a little bag and you're done all right we still have three things and we have to read our pamphlet this is super light super light uh is this powder Ooh! oh my gosh this is so cute Guys, I have to stop loving everything that they sent us because I was honestly thinking about possibly canceling it just because of how expensive it is, not for any other reason. And I'm not saying that the value isn't there because it is. But I just feel so spoiled all the time. And anyways, but this is literally so adorable. Like I can't even get over how cute this is. So I just took it out of the plastic package. Like how cute is that? Are you kidding? That's literally so cute. It says, Lolia Wish Sugared Pastille, the most elegant fragrance experience. Dust on the airy, du I thought it said dust on the dairy air for a second. I was like, uh. 
dust on this airy satin powder for sweetly fragranced silky soft skin. I want to smell this. Oof! I can't really smell it because it's sealed. I don't want to open it just in case I want to give it as a gift because it's really nice you guys. Like that's so nice. And then it's got this really cute little little right here like this little little puffy guy so cute like what a nice gift for someone right like this would be such a cute little if you celebrate christmas this would be a really nice little stocking stuffer in fact i may end up giving this to my mother because she specifically mentioned how we just just have to do stocking stuffers no pressure no pressure at all Last thing that is in packaging, I think this is a, I want to say this is going to be a body wash. It feels like a body wash. Yes. Wait. No, it's not. I was wrong. It's hand sanitizer. And it's a really nice big bottle. So many nice things today. Like, this is a huge bottle. This is great. This is great for the kitchen or in your guest bathroom for people that visit and don't wash their hands but they'll use hand sanitizer. Okay, I know that Library of Flowers smells amazing because I got the perfume. I think it was over the summer and that was amazing. So this is gonna be super great. Again, another gift that you can totally give if you want to. And of course, they're giving us some cards, which is wonderful. Um, they always give us these little cards. In fact, these are much bigger than the ones we usually get. These appear to be 5x7s. The ones they usually give us are 2x4, somewhere around there. <sighs> Come on. I just want to see if there's, like, anything Ugh, Come on. special in here. I feel like there might be. Oh, cute! So there's three cards. This one's super duper cute. It says slay all day. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, slay all day. This one says happy new year, which I know you already saw. And then the very last one, these are really good size, says sparkle and shine. Super cute, love it. I just love that they have, you know, like these tangible things and fragrance and hand cream and candles like literally your one-stop shop for gifts if you really want to and I don't know if I told you guys but I did actually send them an email and I was like hi yeah so um really small channel probably like you don't care at all about like at all um however I've got tons of people that have been coming on and asking for like a discount code blah 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 um, yeah, so we don't do discount codes. And I was like, okay, yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured you didn't. And I'm just a peon. All right. Uh, the card. We wanted this for the scent, which, do, 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 it doesn't have, it doesn't have, <laughs> it doesn't say, it doesn't say what the notes are. But, <clears throat> from the entire card that we got, the whole box is valued at $202.50. And there are one, two, three, four exclusive items in the box, which if I, I believe that means that no one else can get them, meaning like you can't get them at a store or whatever. So that's pretty cool. They have not done that before. So the Beauty Within Tote was exclusive. The Pure Decadence Salt Soak was exclusive. The Eclipse Candle, which smells absolutely fantastic is exclusive, exclusive and I will say I have not seen that before and the wish mini dusting powder is also exclusive and that I also have not seen so I'm super excited you guys like we got some really awesome stuff so we got the bag we got the hand cream we got the three cards we got the huge thing of hand sanitizer which is fantastic the candle the, the salt soak a huge over three ounce bottle of perfume valued at over $68 and the dusting powder you like you can't go wrong you guys like you can't go wrong always really it's a pleasure to open up their products 
Um, and like I said, check out Scentville if you're interested in finding your old love that you can no longer get anymore. We did try the two fragrances today. Unfortunately, I am not in love with the Lipstick On rendition that they have created. However, it is not a bad fragrance. It's just not Lipstick On, at least not to me. And I do have a sample of it to go by and it does not smell like it to me. Um, and then the other product that they gave us actually smells pretty awesome. It's called GGGB. And to me, this actually, I actually like this better, believe it or not. Um, so I paid like a lot more money for the Lipstick On one, and then I paid significantly less for this, but I actually like this one more. Um, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming back. I know it's been a while. Um, if there's anything in particular that you would like to see or know about me or anything like that, please let me know. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend ahead. We're almost there and uh, nice holidays if I don't see you um, until after the holidays. And very last but not least, remember to be kind to each other. I know it's super hard sometimes because people, you know, but just try anyways because you know what? If you smile, they smile and the next thing you know, people are being nicer to each other. All right, have a great day and we will see you very soon.